Today we're going to be taking a look at Bison. Bison is a binary representation of JSON. And today we're just going to be taking a look at how to work with it in Node. And then I will, after showing you how it works, I will do a little talk about why you might use it and what it's being used for and stuff like that. But it's very basic to use. There's only three lines of code. So the first line I have here is FS. Now you don't need FS to get this to work. And then I import Bison. And then it has two functions on it. And one is serialized and the other one is deserialized. The serialized you put a JavaScript object in it and then it turns it into binary data and deserialized you just take the binary data and then it will convert it back to a JSON object. Now let's just quickly test this application by running it and you can see that the first here displays the buffer that is this console log and the next one displays the deserialized object. And the reason why I have FS in here is just so I can write it out to file so we can take a look at it later in an online hex editor. But why would you actually want to convert your JSON data into binary? If you have heard about MongoDB, it's a NoSQL database and it stores JSON objects, but it of course also have to save them somewhere. And what it does is that it uses Bison to convert the JSON into binary and then saves that binary data. And you might also want to use Bison for stuff like low level network communication. So you can send over some binary data over the network. You might also want to use it if you want to obfuscate a file. And those are like the main things you can use Bison for. Now let's quickly go over the hex codes. So I've opened this online hex editor and I've loaded in the file and you can see that we have the name and we have the value. So it's not really hidden the data, though if you get this format here, not a whole lot of people know how to use a hex editor. So it is a little bit more obfuscated if that is what you want to use it for. And also I want to say that this Bison format is supported in a lot of other languages, C, C Sharp, C++ and a bunch of other languages. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here and hopefully I see you in the next one.